Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. And here we are. The family is still throwing the birthday party for Plastic Bag currently. But, um, I'm not sure when it's gonna end. But hopefully soon, because I want all these people to leave a lot. <laughs> I just wanted them to come see him grow up and then leave, but they're kind of overstaying their welcome. Um, and he's also very hungry, so actually, we should buy him, because I never buy this, ever, because I always feed them on the floor. But isn't there some, like, I don't know what you call them, but you can put them on it and feed them. Babies are so dumb. <laughs> Here we go, high chairs, that's what you call them, oh my god, I cannot remember that name. And it doesn't fit anywhere in our kitchen, really. So he's going to just have this special high chair out here for no reason. <laughs> And we'll put, you know what, I never get the high chairs, because I always put them in here to feed them, and then I just completely forget about them and never get them again. So, uh, let's give them a bottle. Um, here. Have baby food. Eat it. Don't use your hands. You're so uncivilized, plastic. Go away, Stella! Are you serious right now? Look at this. Look at this. What is she doing? She's such a creeper. She's just looking at him eat. She first, like, steals our baby, and then comes to his party in a whole completely different outfit, thinking she's going to fool us. And now she's just staring at him eat food with his hands. Look at that. Well, at least he seems to be having fun. Oh, disappearing whenever I zoom in. Okay. Oh my god, she just fed him again? What are you doing feeding our child? Oh my god. And look, see, look what you've done, Stella. You're such a jerk. Now we have to clean that up, not you, because you're an irresponsible person. Oh my god. Well, let's go ahead and let him out of this and clean this up. I hate you, Stella. Get out of here. What are you doing? What, why are you talking to Kate now? Can we ask you to leave? You're such a jerk. Let's see. Oh, we never even... Okay, yeah, we did invite her, and I was just like, let's just ask her to leave, because she's a jerk. Because now we have this big mess to clean up, all thanks to stupid Stella. God. Alright, come on, Shirley. Go ahead and clean that up. What are you doing, Matthew? Why are you tapping your feet? Here. How about you actually interact with your child? Try to teach him how to walk or something. I think he's in a good mood. His energy is kind of low, but you can start... Laura just took a picture of Shirley cleaning up all this nasty stuff, isn't she? <laughs> Alright, come on. Hurry up and finish cleaning this up. Fantastic. Um, uh oh. Hey, it seems like Mercury's here. Oh, there she is. I didn't even see her. Well, oops, I don't want to be mean. Let's go um, flirt with her. See if uh, she'll react positively to this or not, so that we could maybe finally get them to become a uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, because I've been trying to work on that forever. So while she's here, let's go ahead and take advantage of that. And it seems like she's reacting positively to his flirting, so that's good. We'll keep uh, doing this. Why do I keep clicking mean by accident? That's not good. It keeps moving places. What a jerk game. Alright, good. Oh my god. So we'll give her flowers. That should speed up things, most likely. Come on. Also, we still need to teach uh, Garbage how to drive, so I'm going to be sure to do that soon. And look at that, D-Bag received an invitation to Bill's upcoming party. What kind of party is it? So it's swimwear, and it's going to take place at 9pm? Okay. They don't even have a pool, but that's fine. <laughs> so Mercury thinks that he's being very alluring, so that's good. We're going to confess our attraction. And soon enough, we will be able to actually ask her to uh, go steady. But first, hopefully they'll have their first kiss. And they totally did. Great. <laughs> Alright, I might have zoomed in a bit too close. <laughs> but come on, hopefully they can... Here we go, propose going steady before she leaves. Okay, stop holding hands. Alrighty. And then he needs to go to sleep. And what's this other lifetime wish? Be worth at least a ton No, that's dumb. 
Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the golden tongue, golden fingers, lifetime reward point, cause, um, it'll, I don't know, I think it's better than the, uh, become super rich and famous one. <clears throat> Alright, cool, and he's almost a five star celebrity, I guess now because he's, uh, boyfriend, or, yeah, boyfriend of Mercury. <laughs> and he is gonna pass out, so let's go ahead and, you know what, can I actually lock this just for him? Everyone but myself. There we go. Because everyone's always coming in his room and turning on the TV and stuff and disrupting his sleep, which is really mean. And Bill's still here. Well, I guess he has a long time uh, before his party starts. It doesn't start till 9 p.m. What is Mercury doing out there in the sun? You're gonna die. Oh my god, they came. No! They found a loophole. What a bunch of jerks. <laughs> Alright, everyone, get out of this room. Oh my god. Get out. No. Why, why would you do this? You're a jerk, Mercury. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You two, get out. <laughs> I forgot there was that back door. And actually, he's gonna pee himself if he doesn't go soon, so... I guess it's good that he woke up, but... These two need to get out of his room. Can they not get out because the room doors locked from the outside? Uh, I don't even know, but let me temporarily unlock this so that we can uh, tell them to get out. You too, Mercury. Get out. Get out. Get out. I swear to God, Josie, get out. <laughs> oh my God. Who just goes into a house, goes upstairs into a random bedrooms and starts using their computer? That's so rude. Get out. <laughs> okay, now lock everyone but myself. Great. Now he can finally get some rest, so that's good. And how is Shirley doing? So her cell phone's ringing, and she's of course not picking it up. And um, you know what? His energy is still kind of low, which is bad. Is Bill at his house yet? I wonder. Seven forty. Um, okay, he can go over there now. We'll go with um, Kate. So, sure, I guess Josh didn't make it to, well actually Josh did go to the party and then left completely afterwards. So anyways, let's go ahead and go to that party now. He's in a bad mood, he needs some hunger. And of course there's never going to be any food at that dam. Okay good, he's eating some cake before he goes to the party. But it's like every time I go to a party they always just never um, have any food. And let's see, she still needs to improve her handiness, so let's have her listen to um, a tab cast for handiness. Uh, handiness. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Here it is. And what's this potion she has? Oh, the mood enhancer. Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. God, D bag, hurry up and go eat your food. You walk so, so slow nowadays, it's kind of sad. By the time you go to the party, it's gonna be over. Alright, there. Now, let's go ahead and go to that party with Kate. Alright, good. Kate's on her way as well. And they're both going to be in their swimwear. This might not be that flattering. But, <laughs> alright, they're on their way. Okay. So, let's, do, let's see who's going to be at this party. Maybe we'll finally see Paris for the first time. I never thought that I'd want to see her so bad until I started playing Generations. Okay, who's that? I can't... some random chicks in there. Um, seems that Paris is still not in here. I don't know, she could be. Um, let's see. Okay, so... Yulitz is here. Arya is here. Kirby. Alan. And Jessica. Wait! Okay, so Bill's not even at his own party right now. He must be at our lot still. Um, that's very strange. Hopefully they'll leave our house soon enough and come over here. Paris isn't here. Only you look to... You know, I have a feeling that maybe since Paris is a robot, that maybe she's just like randomly broke down out of nowhere somewhere in the world that we're not even aware of. <laughs> And, you know, I'm actually um, pretty upset that there's no pool currently, so let's see. I'm going to be nice, and I'm actually going to build them their own pool right now, 
just because this makes no sense. <laughs> so let's get rid of this tree here, and we're just going to randomly build them a pool right here. <laughs> so at least this pool party makes some sense. And this is coming out of our pocket too, but I don't even care because I never even need to spend money anyways. Alrighty, so there we go. There's a pool. Let's go ahead and go skinny dip. <laughs> Oh yeah, Kate can swipe stuff still because she's a kleptomaniac. But um, anyways, time to go skinny dip. Hopefully the others will join. And let's see, Kate has achieved the highest skill level in handiness and will receive a hefty discount on all build items purchased in the future. Awesome. So listening to that tab cast, finally, Kate's behaving inappropriately. How? By skinny dipping? What a bunch of old prudes. Come on now. I guess we have to just swim normally with our clothes on. Okay then. Let's go ahead and swim. Why are you thumbs down in D-bag for skinny dipping? <laughs> well, whatever. I like how it's, you know, a swimmer party and we're the only ones in the pool. Come on, D-bag. Go in the pool. There you go. <laughs> well... At least they seem to be enjoying themselves. Everyone's inside, not swimming. <laughs> and how he stays, how his hair stays so fluffy even while in the water, I have no idea. It's pretty magical though. Alright, well. Um, I think if we stay here long enough, you know, Paris is just bound to show up, right? I mean, it's midnight and still Yelitz is the only one home currently oh wait someone just arrived home <gasps> it? oh my god it's Paris it's finally her we could finally be mean to her get out of the pool get out of the pool where is she going oh my god there she is this is the first time that I think we've seen what is up with her head what the hell happened to her what is happening look at her face oh my god I think she's trying to get cosmetic surgery to look like her old self again, but it's definitely not working. Oh my god. Or she's grown up, and the game's just confused, and that guy looked behind her is a little creepy looking. But what the hell? Oh my god, she is so scary looking. And uh, so Kirby's taking a picture of her, and Ulyssa's laughing at her, because obviously her plastic surgery did not go too well. And what is happening here? So someone... I don't know. Where okay, where's Paris though? I wanna see where she is. She's right here. So we're reacting to her because she's a sim bot. <laughs> um let's go ahead um be mean and we're gonna Whoa. Okay. So she definitely still is a sim bot. She's taking pictures of things. Um Let's go ahead and harass her with our cane, because we haven't seen this interaction yet. <laughs> She's so freaky looking. Holy crap, what happened to her? <laughs> hey, douche, thanks for coming to my party. No problem, Bill. But one sec, before we leave, we need to definitely harass her with our cane. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and we will insult her home. Oh, God, she's slapping us. What a bitch! Oh my god, okay, so does she still have her bed and stuff here? Did we already blow it up last time? Alright, let's go ahead and detonate. Ooh, should we detonate her husband? Wouldn't that be too mean? Oh, we can't even do that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and detonate her bed. Because she's been slapping us. So let's do this before we leave. Come on. I hope Yulitsa doesn't get affected by this, but she most likely will. I feel like we did this, am I crazy? Maybe I've done this before in the last part, but uh-oh. It's, uh, <laughs> Paris is just dancing as her bedroom is about to be exploded and D-Bag is just swimming. <laughs> so that's good. And, um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is happening? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we can't look inside. It's time to leave. Okay, well... Um, I wonder if we're going to still be able to see it detonate even though we're not- Oh! Yup! <laughs> Alright then. Have fun sleeping and nothing, Paris. That's what you get. <laughs> and now it's time to finally go home. And, um, alrighty then. 
I'd say that was a pretty successful visit to, uh, you know, this area. They might have gotten a pull out of us, but at least we got to detonate Paris's bed. <laughs> um, and cool, so now Kay only needs to level up her um, logic skill, which is only currently level 1. Whoa, does she have black hair? What is happening here? Oh, no, it's just, it looks dark for some reason. Um, but yeah, so she just needs to level up her logic uh, to level 10, and then she'll finally reach her lifetime goal. <laughs> and with D-Bag, what does he need to do? He needs to level up his guitar and painting skill. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do that um, before he inevitably kicks the bucket, which is kind of sad to think about, but we won't think about that for now. <laughs> How's little plastic bag doing? Oh my god, no one's been feeding him for like the longest time. Also, we need to buy um, a potty thing. So let's do that. Uh, Alright, we'll buy... Oops. Our maid sucks. Our toilet's totally dirty. Let's see, who's sleeping in this bed right now? I think it's probably Matthew. Um, oh, no, nope, it's Shirley. So let's go ahead and wake her up. And then uh, let's see if we can potty train him. Or not. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go feed him. Because he's hungry. Isn't he? Yeah, he's pretty hungry. Oh, Matthew's taking care of it. Okay, so, never mind. You don't even need to get up. But you already are. Um, oh, good. See, look at that. Matthew being a responsible parent. Feeding him on the floor. Alright, cool. Now, let's see. Hopefully his bladder won't go down all the way. Wait, don't go to bed yet. Don't go to bed yet. Don't go to bed yet. No, no, get up. <laughs> Damn it. I need you to potty train plastic bag. Get up. Oh my god. Let's see. Hopefully, his bladder bar isn't going down all the way. Oh, it, you were too late, Matthew. You were too late. Just because you wanted to go sleep, you jerk. Well, at least go change his diaper. Um, god. <laughs> So much for potty training him. Well, whatever. Go ahead and change his diaper, put him in the crib, and then go back to sleep. Okay, come on. There we go. Shirley, I'm sorry, you can go back to bed too. And, uh, oh my god, D-Bag, why is your hygiene down so low? I don't know, but go ahead and take a bath. <laughs> Kate is um, in a pretty bad mood as well. Okay, okay, that's fine. Why, why can't you use this? Oh, neat sims are finicky to use dirty objects. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead and clean the toilet. Oh my god. I forgot. She used to be a maid. So she wants everything clean. There we go. Alright. Now, hurry up and use it before you crap yourself. <laughs> and then go shower. Come on. Shower. There we go. And... We can go prepare some food. Um, we'll make waffles for everyone. And let's see. I think Garbage has school today, doesn't he? Oh, no. He doesn't have school for another day. That's good. So let's see. Um, actually, let's go ahead and wake him up. Let's see if there's some leftovers that Kate can eat. Let's see. Oh, nope. All right. Well, we're going to have her go ahead and serve brunch then. And we'll serve pancakes. And um, after they eat, I'm going to have, um, oh, whoops, I meant to click garbage bag. I'm going to have Kate go ahead and continue teaching uh, garbage how to drive so he can hopefully learn um, and then stop taking the taxi everywhere. All right, come on and hurry up making that food. Do, do, do. I feel like it's been the weekend for so long just because garbage has ditched school for so long and then it's the weekend so he oh my god he totally burned the food still whatever that's fine we'll still eat your food <laughs> oh hey maid how about you go clean those toilets for once jerk alright so here they are eating oh god I thought you used the restroom already alright go ahead and do that real quick while she's eating Oh man, her energy is totally low. Alright, whatever. So let's go ahead and teach him how to drive after he's done using the restroom. Come on, hurry up. Alright. Time to teach you how to drive. And look at that, D-Bag's painting skill has increased to level 4. Awesome. 
So let's go ahead and go learn how to drive. This is obviously a formal occasion, that's why he put on his powder blue suit. <laughs> and here we go. So I'm going to fast forward this just because I want to see him get that last skill. He seems to be doing a lot better though, he still is screeching every now and then. But so far it seems to be going okay. He's not having too much fun doing this though, apparently he's very stressed out. But um, he's almost got that next skill point. And yay! Garbage has just improved his driving skill to level 3. Garbage Bag has earned his driver certificate and can now drive without adult supervision. Enjoy your newfound freedom, you've earned it. And look, Josie's going out for a jog apparently. Let's see. And there's Josh, out in the daylight, and Garbage is going to possibly run him over. Oh, 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 no! Nah. <laughs> but he did crash into his limousine. <laughs> but yay, look at that. This is kind of a funny picture, actually, because he's all in his fancy suit, and Kate's in there <laughs> in such a crappy car. But um, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the part here, and I'll see you guys next time.